Hi guys, in this video I wanted to talk about the kind of training I do for obstacle course races. This is my third year competing in obstacle course races and I've taken part in different X runners, a born survivor and a tough mudder. I've just completed another X runner so I thought I'd share some of my training tips with you. Now unfortunately I have lots of knee issues and more recently an ankle ligament issue after a half marathon I completed last year. Now as such I can't do a great deal of running anymore for my training but if you can, aiming to work your way up to the distance of the race is a really good idea. Most events are 10 kilometers, but Tough Mudder for example is about 21 kilometers. Now where possible don't just run on roads and flat surfaces, aim to find a trail run that will get you used to running on an uneven surface. In my case, I do just a short run of four to five kilometers on a trail once a week. I'll also supplement my cardio training with some high intensity interval training to really try and get my fitness up. I also perform low impact cardio such as the cross trainer and stairmaster and even just walking on a fast speed at the treadmill at a maximum incline. This can really help build up the endurance you need in your legs. I'd also recommend building up the strength in your legs with some traditional leg exercises such as squats, lunges, single leg presses. Now most obstacle course races don't have much swimming involved, but this is another great low impact swimming you can use for training. After a swimming session, I also like to take a dip in a cold plunge pool just to psychologically prepare myself for the cold lakes and water on the course. Now when it comes to obstacle course races, a lot of people overlook their upper body. However, there are a lot of obstacles that require you to be able to pull yourself up, climb up ropes, and a monkey bar section is almost always a given. Performing pull-ups can help with this. Now I regularly do these in my door frame at home, but if your gym has a frame available, you can also practice your monkey bar technique. Finally, all the events will involve a lot of crawling. It's a good idea to practice your technique for this, as it can be quite tiring and draining when you're not used to it. So hopefully you found this video useful. Remember to give yourself enough time to train if you're concerned about your fitness. Most of all, remember that it's not really a race in most cases. It's about having fun and completing the course on the day. So take your time and enjoy it. Now as always guys, if you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos.